now to call upon uh, Honorable Richard Biabadiodin uh, to deliver your statement. His Excellency Honorable Deto Seri Raja Zambri Abdul Qadir, Chief Minister of Perak, Malaysia. All the dignitaries, excellencies, and distinguished speakers, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed a great pleasure to be here at the Bengal Dialogue in Perak, Malaysia today. I take this opportunity to thank the organizers for inviting me for this timely initiative of International Knowledge Exchange Dialogue to inspire sustainable economic growth in the region in line with the Sustainable Development Goals. I would also like to express my sincere thanks, appreciation towards His Excellency Honorable Ditto Siri Diraja Zamri Abdul Qadir, Chief Minister of Iraq, Malaysia for his initiative to have this event in the beautiful city of Aipo in Perak. Prior to this, I didn't know much about the Perak, but after my visit yesterday, I managed to understand the beauty of this state. I'm very impressed with the natural sceneries and inclusiveness of the city which reminds me my country, Sri Lanka. I am also impressed with the way how Perak has transformed from being a tin mining state to a sophisticated manufacturing state. When addressing the growth, it is often hindered by poverty, unemployment and inequality. The reduction of these three elements requires inclusive growth that allows every member of the society to contribute to and benefit from economic growth. Hence, there is an urgent need to address sustainable inclusive growth as part of economic development. Economic growth will be sustainable if the stock of capital assets including land remains concerned or increases over time. It may, however, be noted that future economic development and quality of life crucially depends on the natural resources based and quality of the environment, example, the quality of land, water, and air. In fact, the sustainable development goals proposes to promote inclusive and sustainable economic growth, full and productive employment and decent work for all. In short, inclusive growth looks beyond economy's expansion and ensures that the most vulnerable of societies are reached with equality of opportunities and participation. After nearly three decades of conflict, Sri Lanka is well poised to significantly accelerate human development over the coming years. Sri Lanka achieved a middle-income country status and has done well with the highest human development index rank in South Asia. It has strategically exploited development opportunities and or utilize its resources well despite formidable obstacles. In January 2015, Sri Lanka formed a new government with a vision of promoting sustainable development and reconciliation. Sri Lanka is rapidly moving up on the ladder of development through new industrial development projects and economic reforms based on social market economic model. 
envisioned by the new unity government of Sri Lanka led by His Excellency the President Maithripala Sirisena and Honorable Prime Minister Ranil Vikram Singh. It identified generating 1 million job opportunities, enhancing income levels, development of rural economies and creating a wide and strong middle class a key policy priorities. I strongly believe that this new social market economic model will surely drive Sri Lanka to its next stage of the economic development. Sustainability and inclusiveness is a way forward for any sort of development process. Sri Lanka assures the application of these two fundamentals into the development process we have and we strongly support the initiative made by His Excellency Honorable Deto Sri Piraja Zamri Abdul Qadir, Chief Minister of Perak, Malaysia on Panga Dialogue 2016. Ladies and gentlemen, once, once again I extend my deep gratitude, appreciation and sincere thanks to the organizers of Panga Dialogue 2016 for their excellent hospitality extended to me and my delegation since the time of our arrival in Malaysia. Let me conclude my address. I wish Pango Dialogue 2016 session a great success. Thank you. Thank you uh, very much, uh, <clears throat> Your Honorable Richard P. Abadi Odin. He precisely mentioned about the sustainable issues. Uh, for your information, recently I was invited by the Sri Lanka government and the World Bank uh, to present the Malaysian models on human capital development. After 30 years of war, Sri Lanka now is uh, working very hard for the, uh, for the uh, reconstruction of the country. They are actually uh, in the right path of uh, de redeveloping the country. So I must uh, commend the efforts by the government of Sri Lanka for looking forward to reconstruct uh, the country. Thank you very much once again.